Hi, Darren Ruffle from Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to make my version of a caramel macchiato. Now, macchi macchiato in Italian means stained or marked. Basically, what you're doing is you're, you're using just a little bit of steamed milk or milk. Some people you actually use froth milk and putting a shot of espresso on it. Now, traditionally, um, in Italy, you would put your steamed milk on the bottom of the cup. Um, and then brew your espresso. In, in the United States, you see a lot of variations where you're brewing your espresso and then putting a little bit of foam milk on top. Um, but it's really what suits your palate the best. I personally like to do a little bit of steamed milk. I, I'm using a three ounce um, cup here by Bodum, the Assam cup. Um, I put about a half ounce, maybe an ounce of steamed milk, just really hot milk. I put just a little bit of caramel flavoring. I'm using the sterling. You don't need much of this because it's really good concentrate. I, I like to use, because I'm not really saturating it with a lot of milk or watering it down with a lot of milk, I like to use more of a light roast espresso, so I'm using Atomic uh, Cafe's Terra Farms espresso. Um, and you simply add your steamed milk, which I've already steamed here. Like I said, just a little bit of steamed milk. Then you put your um, caramel flavoring in. Again, sterling is a, a good choice. And just a little bit, maybe even like, maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Then you brew your shot of espresso. Now once you have your espresso brewed, you see I've got some really cool layering going on here. Actually for presentation it looks great, but for taste you're actually going to want to give it just a little bit of a stir. And there you have it, caramel macchiato, Darren Ruffle style.